A wiggling, licking, squirming little puppy brings joy and energy to the home. Nevertheless, it can also be a tiresome experience. Today I want to inform you about some simple steps you can take before you bring your puppy home. My first pet I remember growing up was a German Shepherd. It was so long ago, but I remember it like it was yesterday, because that dog chewed and dug up everything in our backyard. One day, he dug a huge hole under the fence and ran away. My parents and I were astounded when we found our dog missing. For anyone who has ever lost a pet, I know it could be devastating. An article written in Women's Home Journal 2005-2007 by Allison White states that six to eight million dogs and cats annually go to pet shelters. Now that's a pretty big number, so let's get started. Choosing a breed. Choosing a breed is one of the most important steps you could take before you bring home a puppy. You want to know the size and the weight of a dog. You want to investigate health problems common in those breeds, the temperament of a breed, and you want to ask yourself some important questions. Do you want a purebred or do you want a mixed breed? Here's a book I got from the library. It's the Encyclopedia of the Dog. In it, it has 400 breeds, and it, this one's by Bruce Fogel. I just picked this Siberian puppy. His origin is from Siberia. And then in it, it'll tell you the life expectancy of dogs, and it'll also give you the height and the weight and the size of the breed at its maturity. Remember, bringing home a puppy is an addition to your family, so you want to be prepared. Your puppy's future health and well-being is very important to you and your family. Before you bring a pet home, you want to check their eyes. Are they clear or are they cloudy? Their ears, are they clean and odor-free? Their mouth, are their gums pink and coughing? Is there an overbite or underbite in their nose? Is there any sneezing, discharge, or dryness? And their skin, is it free of nets, fleas, and lumps? This is a suggestion from a 2003 article titled, Pick the Perfect Puppy. Oh, a good place for a checkup here in the desert is Animal Samaritans. They are a nonprofit organization since 1978, and they will perform spaying and neutering procedures. They will give your puppies your first shots, and they're local to here in the desert. So I'll pass it here. When you do bring a puppy home, begin house training right away. Know that typically a puppy eliminates from he or she awakens, after eating, after intense activity, and before sleeping at night. One can regulate a schedule by providing strict routines and feedings for resting and playing. This is a suggestion from H. White from the Saturday Evening Post, titled, Pick Up the Litter. Before you bring home your puppy, ask yourself, why do you really want a dog? Are you looking for a jogging mate, a television watching champion, or a pal for your children, or a good watchdog? And then choose a dog that will fit your best job description. Last but not least, try to buy your puppy supplies and equipment before you bring it home. You're going to need a collar with an identification tag, a crate to bring your dog home in, stainless steel food dishes are a must and put the bowls in the exact same place every day. That way puppy knows where the feeding place is, says Priest S in Dog World, Pick, uh, raising your pick up the litter. You'll also need some grooming supplies, a buckle up training leash and lead, maybe a baby gate to lock doorways, 
and a book on care and training for your puppy. Okay, the estimated price for caring for a small dog over a lifetime of 15 years is about $12,000. It's almost twice as much for a dog at a larger size, living 12 years or longer. Liber R, 2005, December 10th, and the Law Street Journal. Conclusion. I hope that after today's informative speech, you become more aware of the simple steps you can take before you bring home your puppy. Remember, puppies grow up in, to be dogs, so you want to be prepared before you bring it home. Thank you.